Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is Big Black Love. What's going on? <clears throat> Alright, well, as of uh, this morning, I'm almost done with the Dodge Charger. Just a few I fit issues and a little bit of assembly and a few screws, and it'll be done. And last night, my buddy called me up. Uh, he was over here Friday night and was checking out my kits and wanted to trade me. Uh, uh, kits for uh, the Grand National Donk I got. So, uh, yeah. First one was, was 61 Ford Ranchero. Everyone's seen this kit. Uh, I think it's all complete. It all seems to be there. At least enough of the pieces for what I'm going to do to it are going to be there. And uh, he actually wanted to trade me this one for it. And I was like, hey. And then he slipped, because <laughs> I twisted his arm bad to make him give it to me. But, uh, can anyone say Chevy Street pickup? Hell yes. This kit, uh, also all seems to be there. Um... It is missing, well, it's not missing anything that I know of yet. Um, the driver's side windshield pillar is cracked on it. But uh, my buddy Jude, the one I traded with, had a bunch of extra trees of uh, chrome pieces, the headers and the wheels and extra Impala pieces. Tons of decals. Um, yeah, I don't know if they'd work, but um, I'll have to look through. But I don't remember who it was that was looking for one. But I got uh, Firebird decals here. Uh, the sheet's pretty dirty, but the decals still look like they might work. So if you if you want them, you have them for free. I'll, I'll set them up. And, uh, decals from the S10s. I got some extra speakers in the box and stuff. But, uh, you see right here, cab piece is busted. But other than that, I've been looking for a mid-70s pickup truck um, for a while. So I finally got one. That made me a little bit happy. And then, um, yeah, so let's check out the uh, SRT-10. And uh, I'll show you guys more of the street truck when it gets built, because it's probably going to get built soon. But anyways... Um, yeah, let me, I decided to leave a flat black, because I was paying a flat black and it just started looking so damn good, I didn't want to possibly ruin it with uh, that red paint, so, but, uh, this is, uh, Night Stealth. Is it today? No, it's not super stealthy. It's not out of detail to chrome. I just stuck it in there. But, you know, everybody knows that the door's open. Oops. Open it enough. Probably just scratch the paint. So everyone knows that it's got suicides. Or suicides. Lambos, scissor doors, whatever you want to call them. Um, I decided to actually uh, seal the trunk. I glued it because I didn't really want to put anything in there. And um, I did my style hood hinge on it because um, I wanted to be able to do a uh, 45 hood. Still got to detail the bottom of that up. Uh, Viper motors in there. Got to do a little bit more, a few things. That I got to paint it some more and put, uh, come up with the air tubes and stuff. But I can open the hood all the way uh, past past ninety. Thought 
thought it kind of looked cool. But, uh... Yeah, nothing too special. You guys have already seen the interior and stuff. So... But um, almost done with the engine and stuff. So it's sitting in there a little bit. I gotta mess with it. It fell down on me a little bit. But I'm having problems with this header right here. You can see it sticking up. I gotta send that down to get the floor to sit on it so it'll sit right. And then uh, I cut the tubes off. I gotta put. Uh, Chevy Can 86 sent me a couple of K&N air cones I'm going to put on there for the motor but um, that's about it for now I just got those uh, two other kits and I'm down in Grand National and I'm almost done with the charger so I still got to paint the, the bottom exhaust and stuff but I just thought I'd show you my new kits and the progress on the charger. Uh, but you know, I did a custom hood on it and whatnot. So y'all take it easy. Keep your heads up. Signing out.